I'm starting things off with the latest and greatest in the legal saga of the January 6th Capitol riot defendants. QAnon shaman Jacob Chancellor requested that the time he's already spent in jail count towards his sentence. He did so in a letter featuring a quote from Forrest Gump that reads, my mama always said you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. Did white Flavor Flav just try and impress a judge by quoting Forrest Gump? Really? What did mama say about breaking into federal buildings? I don't think Mrs. Gump would have approved of that, okay? Alt-right Jamiroquay should have gone with mama says stupid is as stupid does. That quote is right on the money. It was right there for you. It doesn't help that Chauncey misspelled Forrest Gump's name in the letter. The man is in jail. You got nothing but time to proofread. No excuses. That's just lazy hormone monster from Big Mouth. You don't get to walk around looking like a rejected member of Parliament Funkadelic and misspell words. Pick a struggle player. This next story just adds one more layer to that January 6th attack. Britain's Prince Harry spoke at the Rewired Technology Conference and warned that said that he warned Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey via email that his platform was allowing a coup to be staged a day before the Capitol riots took place. Jack and I were, were, were emailing each other prior to January the 6th, where I, I warned him that his platform was allowing a coup to be staged. Uh, that email was sent the day before, and then it happened, and I haven't heard from him since. Prince Harry pulled a reverse Paul Revere. The nut jobs are coming. The nut jobs are coming. I'm not surprised Jack Dorsey allegedly ghosted him after the warning because he sees DMs get leaked on the platform he runs every day. He's not falling for that. Jack knows his Twitter Miranda rights. Every word you type can and will be used against you in the court of public opinion, even emojis and especially memes. Now, when Meghan Markle's husband is our last line of defense against counterterrorism, we are in deep trouble. We needed a warning from a dude who grew up in a palace just think about that. Mr. Masterpiece Theater beat all of us to the intel. America needs to step his game up. Let's switch gears from the overthrow the government theme of the first two stories and check in with one of the best athletes in the D.C. area. Washington Nationals outfielder and MVP finalist Juan Soto said he's now vaccinated for COVID-19 and wants to encourage others to do the same. Soto admits he was initially reluctant because, quote, I was a little scared. A Juan Soto, the anti Aaron Rodgers. You gotta love it. Now, this is the kind of leadership you want from your star player. It takes more strength to admit that you're afraid of something than it does to posture, name call, and get defensive and, oh yeah, quote MLK over a vaccination. Plus, Juan Soto is 6'2 and 224 pounds. Go ahead, call him soft if you want to. Wait for me to get my phone out first so I can post whatever happens to World Star. Juan saw Aaron Rodgers get dragged for days and decided to get out in front of it. Baseball season is over. He didn't even have to do any of this. But it is good to know that Joe Rogan won't be on the Nationals payroll as a medical consultant this season. We can focus on winning games instead of stocking the trainer's room with horse dewormer. The Nationals are in very good hands. Hands that just got nominated for National League MVP. And hands that hopefully will give us a discount.